I was watching a program on Channel 5 the other day and uh, they were making a curry in an air fryer, something something I've not tried, but I thought I might give it a go. So just having a look to see what we've got lying around in the kitchen and uh, well, first thing was <clears throat> they made some chips as well and um, they used a courgette and we used courgettes quite a lot. So I thought I could use that courgette and I could make some chips to go with the curry. No rice for me. I usually make cauliflower rice, but uh, I think I might put the cauliflower actually in the curry. And I've got some aubergines, which I'm going to also use as something to go with the curry, as rather than in the curry. So those are the things. We've got lots of tomatoes left over, so I like to use those. Um, got a red pepper and a green pepper. Um, I'm going to do some asparagus as well. And uh, I've got some garlic. Uh, I've got an onion. I've got this and we've got some chicken and uh, the staple of course is um, olive oil in any Mediterranean food you're going to find lots of uh, olive oil and uh, I was noticing as we were going around the supermarket this morning just how expensive it is it's around about 10 euros for a litre and uh, that is much more expensive than it has been it's two three times as much and I seem to be seeing as well that in other countries it's actually not as expensive as it is, as it is in Spain. And uh, we actually grow the olives in Spain uh, to make the olive oil. Anyway, um, that's enough about that. Let's see what I can do with this. Um, I've got some chilies. I need to just pick these little chilies, but I don't know how powerful they are. So we'll find out. They've just come straight out of our garden. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see about these chips. So I'm going to take the asparagus, uh, the asparagus, courgette, and I'm going to cut it into three, I think. Just nip the end off there. And uh, I'll make it into fairly evenly sized, they said, so as even as I can possibly make them. And uh, I'm just going to throw that into the bowl over there. Because um, what I'll do is I'll add some salt and uh, I'll add some olive oil. So they're going to be quite chunky crisps. Um, when they were eating them, they seemed to be quite crisp. So I like my crisp, crispy chips. So let's hope that works. Anyway, it's all an experiment for me and I do like to experiment. So that's the, the courgette. All I'm going to do with that is to drizzle some olive oil over it. And uh, I'll add a little salt. Toss it around a little bit. And about 20 minutes or so in the air fryer. Well, we'll see. Give it a 10 minutes and then have a look to see how it's going. We have a, a Ninja air fryer, so this is what the thing looks like. Pour those in there, pop them in, and uh, see how they go. And I'll put it onto air fry 200. 20 minutes. And we'll let those go and we'll see how they come out in a moment. One of the things we quite like as a, a starter is a, asparagus and uh, we noticed some nice asparagus in the shop. This is quite thick actually. Um, and uh, with these I've just washed them and you just snap them off. You um, don't want any woody bits, chewy bits, so just snap them at the bottom there. Some snap closer to the bottom than others. It's quite bendy. There we go. Got that tip from Jamie Oliver. And we don't do very much with these. All we do really is just add a little bit of salt and some olive oil. And I'm going to pop those in the air fryer as well. Draws, isn't it? 
So just again a drizzle of olive oil. And a pinch of salt. Toss them around a little bit. And uh, just pop them in the air fryer again. All we're going to do again is I'm going to just put those on uh, to air fry for about 20 minutes and we'll see how it goes. So this curry, what am I going to do with this curry? Well, my idea was really to very much a tomato based curry. Um, I do like tomatoes. And so I'm just going to chop these tomatoes up and uh, pop them in there. Uh, everything's just going to go in together really. Having said that, I think maybe I should do the onion first. do the onion for a few minutes because I do want my onion to be cooked a little bit before everything else goes in. So chop the onion first of all. First thing you've got to do is just to Again, it's just onion, and uh, I'll put a, again a drizzle of olive oil with them, and just a little bit of salt. So, just the onion this time going into the bowl. It's actually a little bit of olive oil from before there. So there's the onion gone in. to go in the air fryer and the asparagus and the courgettes finished. While we're waiting for all that to happen, we may as well just carry on with the tomatoes. I always remember watching my granddad sharpening and I can use the steel and uh, he got a really good technique for sharpening the knife. So I always keep a, a steel just handy just to put that edge back and hopefully uh, it will slice a little bit easier through the tomatoes. going to chop these, roughly chop them. It's going to be a very tomatoey curry. Luckily we both quite like tomatoes. A lot there. Press on with these and uh, catch up with you in a moment. Well, I've got lots and lots of tomato there, and I need to pick these chilies, they're really quite tiny. Someone told me once that 
smaller they are, the more potent they are, so oh, we'll see. We've got quite a few of them here. And we do like quite a hot curry, so all the better if they're a little bit spicy. trimming the top off, I'm not de-seeding them, they're too small, I can't get in them, so I don't know if they're hot if I lick my fingers, which I'm not going to do, just give them a little bit of a chocolate. a little bit red so I think I might just add the green pepper. Maybe that will be enough actually because uh, if I'm going to put the cauliflower in on, <laughs> there's going to be an awful lot there. cauliflower to make um, cauliflower rice so we just blitz it a little bit and um, it makes a good alternative to rice we just uh, warm it up in the microwave oven uh, just doesn't need any water just warm it up and uh, it's got that little bit of crunch to it uh, which is really quite nice all that's going to fit in this um, air fryer so we've got a really nice um, full bowl there. I'm going to add some garlic flakes to that. I'll add a little bit of flavour to it. And uh, then our go-to curry spices. So this is garam masala, and I use a lot of garam masala. See. In the Channel 5 video, they said they always put turmeric in, turmeric, and uh, some colour to it. Uh, cumin, also a favourite of ours. I quite like using the cumin seeds, this is cumin powder. And uh, just a little bit of cinnamon. There's a lot of cinnamon, just a little. And that will all need to be mixed up. It'll get mixed up in the air fryer as well. And uh, I will add some oil. They added some stock as well, some chicken stock. So uh, I'll put some of that in. oil for everything. Now I'm trying to check the air fryer for the 
goodies that are in there. Let's see how my courgette chips are coming on and uh, the asparagus. I did put them both in for 20 minutes and you can see the one on the left, this one is the, uh, the courgette chips, that's nearly done its 20 minutes. And I'll just show you. I think they are actually looking quite good. You can see what they taste like. And this is the asparagus. Uh, well, they look pretty good as well. I think they're more or less done. Well, here are the uh, asparagus, are they? Asparagus, the courgette chips. Actually, they look okay, don't they? Let's see what Anita thinks about them. They've just come out of the air fryer, so they're going to be pretty warm. Yes, just try one, see what you think. You're not on camera, so you're alright. Mm. It's hard to eat. Perhaps not as crisp as I was thinking they were going yeah. to be, but they're quite watery. Maybe they could do with a little bit longer. They are very hot though. And they are cooked. And uh, this is the asparagus. It's just giving me football results and uh, it's not looking good for us at the moment. Well, the asparagus looks really good. I don't think it needs anything else. We can just uh, take those and eat them. And they're just right. Back onto the curry and uh, I've just put the onion into the air fryer. Which I'll pop in there. And uh, I'll cut this for about two minutes, so again it's going to go on uh, air fry and uh, it automatically comes up in 20 minutes, but after about two minutes I'll check it and make sure that it's uh, okay. I am going to put some chicken in there and uh, we've got some chicken fillers here. And uh, I'm going to not put all of this in. Uh, six 600 grams here. Uh, so I'm just going to take a few pieces out and uh, chop those up. About half of it, maybe. And uh, just slice this up so we're going to end up with some bite sized pieces. I was thinking of doing a, a more vegetarian one, I bought some lentils that I was going to add, so on another occasion I'll, I'll try the, the lentils, we used to have lentil curries quite often, I would enjoy them. So this I'm just going to add in to the air fryer with the vegetables. I did end up putting the courgettes back into the air fryer for another five or six minutes, and uh, we'll try them now. So that's what they look like now. Um, I'm not sure they are any crisper. Let's see. Well, maybe a little bit. Certainly quite nice, certainly which sort of thing that we would eat. Uh, the, on the onions have been cooking for about five minutes now, so I'm going to add the chicken and uh, put the chicken in there for about five minutes as well. So the curry isn't too dry, I'm going to add some stock, so I'm just going to put a couple of stock cubes in. Um, they also help to season a lot because uh, stock cubes we have here tend to be quite salty. But that brings the flavour out, so I'm not too worried about that. Just got the kettle on to boil now to put some water in there. I'm going to do too much stock. About half a litre, I guess, here. And 
I'll see as I'm adding it to see whether it needs more or less. And then I can add more later on if I need to. So, see how the chicken's going on, and then uh, see how we can add the vegetables. And the onions are cooking away quite nicely there, and uh, quite happy with that. And now I'm going to add the, the vegetables. I think I'm going to have way too many here, so I might use the other side of the air fryer to cook the rest of them. I don't want to overfill this. Well, surprisingly, no, they're all going to go in there. I didn't think they would, but they're all going in. And uh, to that, I'm going to add the, the stock. I'll put it all in. And now I'm going to go in 25 minutes or 20 minutes and uh, check it every few minutes, see how it's going on. Well, I thought I'd try some aubergines while I was at it, and uh, these are the aubergines. I think these are not too bad, actually. They look a little bit burnt, but they taste good. That's cooking nicely, and uh, I've just been stirring it every five minutes or so, just to give it a bit mix-up. Seems to be okay. Well, it's been in for another 15 minutes on bake. Um, I think I've got a lot of uh, a lot of vegetables in there, but uh, let's just have a look. Well, it looks good. I wonder what it tastes like. Looks delicious. Well, that's what it looks like on uh, on the plates, and uh, well, it. Seems very good. And uh, Anita's having a glass of wine. I'm on my diet, so no wine for me. And Anita wanted to mention the fact that we had this uh, wine in... This delicious wine. Winchester. We did, um, at the River Cottage. When we were visiting the River Cottage restaurant there. All right, thanks very much for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, culinary delight. Bye.